So hello, it's me, <coughs> Trina, the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur. We're taking a cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, and social anxiety. So, welcome to another series of episode <laughs> of Moved In Now What? Yes, me, Trina. I'm living here in the hood, in the ghettoy neighborhood. Homelessness everywhere. Serious, on a serious note, seriously, I mean, homelessness everywhere. It's spreading across the nation. It's not just in poor neighborhoods now. And then people looking at me like I'm crazy. <coughs> <coughs> so I'm going on a little walk up to the market nearby. There's a cute little market. The produce is sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. But that's all I got because I don't drive. I haven't driven since I was 17. I don't have a driver's license. I have a driving phobia. And it's based on something really traumatic that happened to me as a kid. So, um, yeah, it's affected me profoundly enough that I haven't driven all the way since I was a teenager. So, so I walk everywhere. I don't take the bus because the bus, by the time I get to where I need to go, the bus, I'm still waiting on the bus. So. I had to pause. It's getting busy. People are doing Christmas shopping. <clears throat> and you won't see that many people outside walking. It's the nature of this area, as I've said before. I'm the oddball walking. <laughs> to go get groceries. I thought we were totally out of money and my husband didn't tell me that we had any money to go shopping with. And it's like, thanks for telling me. And then the next day, oh, we've got money. I thought we were gonna, I'm like stressing out, trying to finish this commission piece. turns out we're just fine not really but you know okay guys if you're wondering I made it back home safe <laughs> yeah I'm here and I'm glad that I wet down my dreads because I was hot as a you know what yeah I, I get hot because I have hot flashes um, I will remedy that even better once I have more funds because I looked up a bunch of uh, herbs that are good for uh, menopause and I just don't have the funds to buy it right now but if when I do um, I will share that with you you know I'm all about sharing what works you know I have some turmeric right now I got some when I was at the store that little market I was able to get a, um, a package of, uh, of cinnamon sticks and I got a little bit of cinnamon in my turmeric right here um, it's smells good and it tastes good and not only does cinnamon taste good but it's really good for your health especially during the cold and flu season great for the immune system and so much more yeah it was so crowded in that store it i can't handle being in a crowded area i mean i feel claustrophobic so and with the mask on my <laughs> feeling like i can't breathe um so yeah I guess this is uh, another edition of Moved In Now What? <laughs> um, yeah, let's smoke. Let's have a smoke session. Smoke session in session.
the Honorable Trina at presiding over this jury. <laughs> yeah, the turmeric actually has the same effect as cannabis does, if you were wondering. Um, not exact same, but has the same relaxing uh, type of effect. So if you run out of cannabis, buy some turmeric. That's just a tip. Um, have some available. A lot of people are, are getting hip to turmeric, so if you can, buy it in bulk, get a good amount of it, stock up on it. The turmeric root is even better, but the powder is just as effective. Oh, wrong way. I rolled this joint using trip papers, and there's uh, trim in it. And if you don't know what trim is, when you are a medical cannabis patient, when you go to harvest your plants, the little nugs and the sugary leaf and then the stems are what you get at, towards the end. Put the stems aside for a nice, very, very, very powerful stem tea and uh, take your sugary leaves and your nugs and grind them up. You can make a really strong, potent joint like I'm smoking, or you can use it in, not the stems, but you can use the sugary leaves and the little nugs ground up and put it into edibles, being like baked goods or savory dishes, and I've done all of it. You can check out my Bohemian Canvas Bohemian Kitchen to see more of that, because I have a few recipes that I... I have put forth onto this channel and you might enjoy it. So, cheers anyway. <laughs> cheers everyone. I feel a little sped up after the walk. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I end up like walking really fast when I go past people that are uh, homeless in their, uh, in their living arrangements here. And you know what, I was watching this video recently on YouTube, this guy, I can't remember his name, he's got long red hair, he looks like he works out because his thighs are really big, <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's in good shape, but um, this is a white guy with really long red hair, and he's talking about California, and uh, the fucked up shit that's going on here, that I've talked to you guys about, actually showing you guys what's going on here, the increase in homelessness, they're like, I saw this article talking about L.A. and the homeless. It's everywhere. It's not just in one section of California. It's it's happening everywhere in California, homelessness. People getting booted out of their their apartments because they can't afford the rent because they lost their job. Or people like um, lose their house somehow and then they're living on the street or living on the, you know, on the side of the street parked you know, with their car or their RV or whatever. It's so much of that going on around here. It's depressing as fuck. So it is Sunday and I'm wearing a Stony Sunday shirt. Raggedy as fuck, but I still got it on. Stony Sunday is a, a bunch of shirts that, um, this woman in Coral Reefer, she used to do this thing called Stony Sunday. She does still do that every... Um, I think every now and then, but <clears throat> she's got a Patreon uh, where she exclusively does videos for that. So um, you can check out my past video where I did a video just about Coral Reefer and the t-shirts she makes. And she's also a glass blower. She blows like these really cute um, fish, glass fish, and some other really cool, neat uh, designs she came up with. So um, yeah, check her out if you want. She's on Instagram, she's on Facebook, and she's on Twitter. So. And she's a cannabis activist. And this is the shirt, one of the shirts she designed. I'll show you the back of it. It says stay high. Can you see that? Yeah, it says stay high. Move my hair out of the way. Yeah, I'm all biz I'm all party in the front and business in the back. My hair is short in the back. My hair is long in the, on the sides in the front. <laughs> but it's catching up in the back though. I've been using that wild growth hair oil and that really does a lot. So Anyway, check out my videos on that. <laughs> I'm all about sharing the knowledge because when you hoard the knowledge, who does it help? It doesn't even help you because it doesn't help you progress on this planet if you're withholding all this knowledge that you can share with people and help them out on their way, on their journey too. So We all need as much help as we can get, that's for fucking sure, right? Mmm. So, yeah, I've had a really uh, productive week. It's Sunday. <laughs> and, yeah, I've uh, got a lot of things done. 
Um, I was doing a lot of worrying, but a lot of meditation to combat the worry and the stress. Um, and whenever I get into meditation, the message I get is everything is all right. Everything is working as it should be. So just relax and keep doing what you're doing. You're doing the right thing. So with that assurance, I'm like, okay, keep going. Because right now, a lot of people are on shaky ground. They're like, what the fuck do I do now, man? You know, I didn't lost my job. I'm unemployed. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to get a stimulus check. You know, that kind of thing people are thinking about and how the government's kind of dangling the stimulus check in front of their faces, making you wonder whether or not you'll get one or not. And it's making you dependent on the government, which is fucked. I'm going to take my boots off. That was one hell of a walk. I got I got quite a bit of groceries, so... But, yeah, it's it sucks because some people... At one point, we're getting uh, government funding and food stamps. Then they tell you you can't. You make it too much. You know, so uh, we're going to have to cut it out. And it's like, we don't even make that much money. <laughs> Most of our money goes to rent. Almost all of our rent check... Uh, clears out our, 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 pay, our paychecks, you know what I mean? And bills, don't get me started on that shit, you know? And just to have internet, for me, internet is $70 a month, okay? I was paying 98 bucks a month, so I bumped it down, got it down to, um, to $70 a month. I want to find something even cheaper, you know, and I got my phone. My phone is expensive. I tried to bump up my phone a little bit because I thought it would be more quality, I was paying 35 and then I bumped it up to 40 to so that I wouldn't have to pay as much. I mean, that the quality would be better. So if I'm paying a little bit more, then I'm getting better quality. It doesn't matter. My phone will only... My phone will only do so much, really, to tell you the truth. No matter how much I bump it up, you know? I don't want to be paying, like, over, over $40 a month for a fucking cell phone. So, yeah... It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy living in this techno world, for real. Oh, this is good. Yeah, it's nothing like... I like to settle down with a nice, nice joint after a walk. I smoked a joint on the way up there to help with, with my joints and everything. And with my lower back, I've been having lower back issues, so <clears throat> I got to make sure that I'm sitting up straight, and um, maybe extra cushion might help for the back there. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of a lot of work. Not a lot that's been like really noticeable, you know. You know, people who stay or stay at home and they work from home. There's a lot of behind the scenes shit that you have to do. A lot of dirty work, you know, scrubbing toilets and t scrubbing bathtubs and and all this shit. Um, as it is, I'm gonna have to contact the management and tell them about the leak in our in our bathroom uh, in our tub. You know that uh, God, it's just it's like a little leak that's going on and it's not good. But I just don't want to be. I don't want to have to deal with any uh, any of them really. <laughs> I don't really have to, really want to have to deal with that. I just want to be able to sit down and do my art and focus in what I need to get done for the day. But there's a gazillion and one distractions I have to deal with every day. It's fucking ridiculous. I hope you guys enjoyed that dabbing video I did last night. It was really fun. <laughs> it was towards the end of... Well, it was like really late. It was <coughs> past midnight. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I'm going to be um, reviewing a movie today. A movie of what? <laughs> Christmas movies. I did say I was going to try to review a movie every day until, until Christmas. A movie, so I did review 
Christmas in Vermont. And someone say, hey, I just watched that Sunday, <laughs> last Sunday. So cool. We're on the same too. If you're watching, still watching Christmas movie, that person that commented, tell me which one you're going to watch next. I probably watched the same one. I've been on uh, Hulu. Uh, I'll probably toggle on over to Netflix. That's what I got. Hulu, Netflix, and YouTube. Yes, new YouTube does have movies. And they also have movies that you pay for on YouTube. YouTube is turning into Netflix. <laughs> YouTube is turning into Netflix and um, Hulu. They want to compete. They want to be the one that has everything. So you don't go to Hulu and Netflix. This is funny. Or they're just working together. I gotta relight this. I rolled it too tight. They're probably just working together because what was I was seeing that made me think of that? Shit. Well, here's the thing. That was what it was that Cobra Kai uh, show. It was originally on YouTube, and then they moved it to I think it's either Netflix or Hulu. They have the Cobra Kai show on there. If you don't know what Cobra Kai is, it's based off the Karate Kid. They made it into TV series. <laughs> I saw like a little bit blip of it from watching a video by this YouTube uh, YouTuber named um, Pockets of the Future, <clears throat> and he does a lot of um, videos on uh, the things, the shady shit that's going on, conspiracy theories, and um, crazy shit going on in Hollywood, crazy shit going on in uh, politics. Yeah, his, his, I like his videos. They're good. Pockets of the Future. I think his name is, is it, uh, is it Joe Romano? <laughs> it's not Dave Romano. <laughs> I might be wrong. I don't know. I'm sorry. I know his last name is Romano, but I like his videos. They're very concise. They're very thought out. And, um, he comes from a, from a space. His perspective is like, he, he, uh, believes in, um, he believes in meditation, taking the time out to meditate to really understand what's going on in the world today. So he's a good channel. But yeah, I was watching that, and he would comment on stuff like that, showing us uh, bits and pieces of Hollywood and how fucked up it is. It is. It's just fucked up. And things you never really thought of, like as a kid, you'd watch shows sometimes, and you're not really analyzing it as much as you would as an adult, because as an adult... You've got all this more, you have more experience, so you can kind of see the trickery that's going on with what Hollywood does and what they insert into movies. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to watch these holiday movies and review them, not just for the pure entertainment of it, but to actually break them down and see if they have something hidden, some hidden codes and symbols in there, which they do. And I recently watched this movie based on Oliver Twist, um, Oliver Twist slash uh, Charles Dickens and all that. The main actor is playing the role of Charles Dickens, so I'm going to review that. I think I want to watch that movie all over again, maybe, or not. I'll just get the stats and the info about it and just review it. I was only thinking of rewatching it because when it was on, I was, I was washing dishes. <laughs> But I was still able to watch it and see what was going on in it, you know? It's one of those kind of movies. Yeah, pretty boring, but I'll get to that in the review. <laughs> I'm really cooling down from the walk. It's at, we're at 18 minutes, over 18 minutes right now. <coughs> 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 So my skin, let me just tell you something about my skin. I was having some really bad problems with my skin. I was going through menopause. And when you notice, I've, what I've noticed has helped really good is um, is sunflower oil. Um, after I washed my face, I've been using this black soap. And, the, and there's a black soap that I have that has with shea butter in it. I've been washing my face. I didn't, for a long time, I didn't use like regular soap to wash my face, you know. Because it would dry it out and leave a film on it. But, um, so I started washing my face with, um, the black soap, and, um, after I wash it, and where my head face feels smooth, then I put, um, sunflower oil on it, and I do that in the morning, 
I do it in the afternoon if I feel like I need it, and then I do it at night. And it seems to help my skin, rejuvenate my skin. Because my skin is having some problems with adjusting to this phase in life. So um, I'm sure they sell these special creams for that. But I found that just putting the sunflower oil on it overnight would let my, my face and my skin, my neck and everything absorb it. And then the next morning my skin feels good and then I wash it again. You know, like sloughing off all the dead skin cells. I don't wear like foundation and shit like that. Or, you know... I mean, if you wear foundation, that's whatever, that's your deal. I, I ain't tripping. I used to wear that a long time ago when I was a teenager, but I noticed that it would clog my pores and then it would break out. So I stopped wearing it. And plus, you know, it comes off easily on your hand and it's just all over the place. The only thing I really deal with as far as makeup is eye makeup, my eyebrows, eyes, and sometimes my lips, you know. But when I'm wearing a mask, man, you can't wear lipstick, or at least I can't with a mask, unless you have that, like... That matte lipstick. <laughs> okay, everybody, whoever isn't interested in makeup, I know this is boring. <laughs> Let's keep it smoking. <laughs> Let's smoke it out until the whole, till this video ends. See how long it could go. See how long I can go. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a good time just chilling right now. I'm taking some time out from working and <clears throat> doing so many things. Um, this... This season, around this time, it gets really bustly, you know? Just do, do, do. You need to stay, stay, stay in one place for a while. <laughs> yep, don't be no Sonic the Hedgehog all year long. All year long, you've, you've done that all year long, and now it's time to stop. <laughs> Take a break, you've deserved it. <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to everybody who subscribed to this channel. You guys are awesome. Um, without you, this would be this wouldn't be a channel. You know, another year. I don't know how many years I've been doing this, uh, the productive cannabis connoisseur, but it's been, I think it's been more than ten years actually. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, is it what anniversary it is? <laughs> Thank you. You know, you make this world a better place. Us. Us cannabis partakers, we make the world a better place because a lot of us that partake in cannabis, we get to a state of mind where we're so relaxed that we make decisions that are wise and we listen to people and we try to help and heal people. And we try to first and foremost try to heal and help ourselves so that we can help others. So, yeah. I want to get to where I do a video, a uh, nature video, once a week if I can. Who out there likes that idea? Because um, I I really didn't want to go on this walk today that I went on up to the store because I was in pain. But once I went and got my body moving, I was feeling a lot better. You know, um, it helps that I have um, things to partake in, herbal helpers to help me uh, get through these walks. And be able to do something physical so I don't just turn into someone that um, doesn't get any activity. Um, I'm an active person by nature. And I love nature. I love being outside by the trees, the grass, and the flowers, and the cute little cats are here and there. You know, I love that. I love being out in nature. But um, having a lot of pain can be um, a distraction to getting out there and getting uh, healthy, you know? And there's this one really really cool lady. I don't know if she ever watches this channel. I know she watches my Dark Moon Doll channel. Her name's Lorenzi. And she's going, she's going through some stuff with her body and stuff. And Big hug to Lorenzi. I'm not really a big hugger, as I've said. But if I could give someone a hug, I definitely would give her one. Because she's going through a lot. Uh, physically in her body and stuff and <clears throat> I just I just thought about her she's she's trying really hard and it's difficult especially in this time right now with uh, with the pandemic going on and I just feel like maybe doctors are probably like I've had enough <laughs> and nurses especially nurses I mean sometimes nurses are more aware than doctors are if you know what I mean
Oh, this joint is very good. <laughs> so, guys, let me ask you. <coughs> <coughs> Out of all the stuff that um, I have created, if you've been watching me this long, you know that I'm a stoner artist and I create uh, stream of consciousness art, meaning when I partake of cannabis, I just create whatever flows through. So, um, and I feel like whatever flows, flows through is connected to my ancestors, the angels that are guiding me, specific gods and goddesses that I talk to and communicate with. Um, all of that is reflected in the art. So what I want to ask you guys is, uh, what would you prefer for a giveaway? A doll? A fabric handmade doll that I make? Handbag? Painting? Drawing? Go check out my Instagram and my Facebook and you can get an idea of what kind of stuff I make. Because <clears throat> I'm if you don't get back to me um, by when? When was I going to do this? That's why I was going to do it on Christmas. <laughs> or winter solstice. Yeah, I'm going to do it on December 21st. So on December 21st, if you don't get back to me uh, by then, by December 21st, I'm just going to pick out whatever I want to pick out. But I thought I'd give you guys a choice. Because <clears throat> not everybody wants a, a doll, you know, and it's not just a doll, though. It's a spiritual item that can be put on your altar, that can be put in your home to create some magic that helps protect your home or bring in more money, prosperity. Depending on what the runic symbols or uh, particular items that I attach accessories to the doll, and that's the meaning in it. My dolls have been, have evolved. They've become more spiritual dolls and more dolls you can put in your home and feel good looking at them knowing that they're doing what you want them to do my dolls aren't just a, uh, something for kids to play with they're not they're not a toy they're in the spiritual realm, spiritual realm there and they bring about magic to those who part choose to buy one and put it in their home so This is something else. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> it's funny because I was worried about money yesterday. And then when I let go of worrying and just concentrated on art, it seemed like everything was working itself out. So just like that show that I did, two-part show that I did for um, this woman who generously donated to this channel, Athesia, thank you once again, Athesia Benjamin, hope you're doing okay. Um, she asked me if I'd do a video about how we create our reality. And we do, we create our own reality. I created a reality where I kept, when I kept worrying about things, that's when things felt worse. I was tripping over shit and dropping stuff. But then when I sat down and relaxed and just mellowed out, things went smoothly and everything was okay. You know, I even like consult the angels and um, they tell me, they reassure me, everything's going to be okay. It depends on what your energy field is all about, what's going on with you energy wise, because that's what you're going to attract if your energy isn't like balanced and you don't recalibrate yourself every day then you'll just be off balance. So, And I got that idea about the recalibration from a book that I um, talked about, The Palladian Agenda, and also uh, <clears throat> so The Palladian Agenda, and those other books, Palladian books that I was talking to you guys about by Bar Barbara Masaniak, Earth, that's another book. So anyway, but they talk about recalibration. And also another person that talks about recalibration is this one lady that I read the book called You Can Ask and It Is Given. And it's by Abraham Hicks. And it's this woman channeling Abraham. And um, it's a pretty, pretty profound book. I like it. You'll probably find little snippets like videos on YouTube uh, where the lady is channeling Abraham and bringing forth info and giving you pretty much the same message like we do create our own reality. But here's the thing is I feel like with this pandemic and all these crazy violent things that are occurring in our world right now, I feel like the government's trying to have control over 
what we want to see in our reality. So that's really, really tough. So I suggest that you guys don't watch a lot of media. Don't be on the computer too long. You know, uh, it's very, very unhealthy to just keep seeing all a lot of torture, anger, rage, and stuff like that. You gotta have some balance. If you're gonna still live in this world, on this planet, you gotta have some balance and you can't just get obsessed with all that stuff because it's gonna tear you to the point of no return. You know what I mean? So, choice is yours, though. You know, it's always your choice. And that's why I choose to do art and write other than go out and protest and, um, and do all that. That's just not my style. If that's what you do, that's, that's what you do. That's what you are called to do. That's what you're supposed to do on your spiritual path. That's not my spiritual path. Um, my spiritual path is expressing my opinions and my thoughts and my passions and my loves of the world through my art and through writing. So, yeah. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> hey, we're letting this video go for 31 minutes. This is a record for this phone. If you don't see me for a few months, you know my phone exploded. <laughs> Did you hear my stomach growl? <laughs> yeah, I need to eat some food <clears throat> of some sort. <coughs> Oh, yeah. You know, the thought just occurred to me that maybe later on today, while I'm making the cannabis tea, stem tea, I could be doing a video reviewing a movie. Is that too much? Too much multitasking for one video? I'm sure not, because I've seen some videos where there's a hell of a lot of multitasking going on. How do they do it? <laughs> okay, let's relight this. I just I want to end this video, because I know it's going to shut off at any point. I want to end this video talking about um, making the most of your day by making yourself happy. Because your day feels like, wow, when you do something that makes you feel happy. <clears throat> what do I mean by that? Do something that makes you smile and laugh and brings up your spirit. I like to watch comedies. And sometimes I can find a lot of comedy in these Christmas movies because they're so cheesy as fuck. So. But yeah, find something that makes you laugh today. Because, um, life is not supposed to be, you're not supposed to be, um, it's not supposed to be like this. It's not. It is not. Even watching, like, um, I started watching Wentworth, the, the newer season, and I'm on, I don't know what episode I'm on, 